Hi, Chef Jeff Trombetta here, and today we are going to make creme anglaise. Creme anglaise is an English cream, or better known as an ice cream mix. A lot, it has a lot of variable usage, and I'm going to make uh, about a quart, a little over a quart, a quart and a cup, and I'm going to do an equal mix of whole milk and uh, heavy cream, okay? So about two cups of milk, and let's get a little bit more milk in there, and about a cup of cream, all right. Two cups of cream, I'm sorry. All right, now, um, I'm going to be doing a, an Easter menu rack of lamb, uh, my next video, but I have to do these baking, um, for my these baking videos for my baking class and um, and so guys make sure that you watch the videos and answer the questions because I put them up on the blackboard and we've got to get this done ice cream is very important so I uh, made it richer by adding heavy cream and milk you can make 100% straight milk uh, but this would be better known as uh, French vanilla, which is a higher butterfat content. Milk has 3.5% uh, butterfat, and cream has, uh, uh, this cream here probably has, uh, this is 40%. So this is a premium heavy cream or manufacturing cream. It whips up quick. So 40% butterfat. So um, this is going to be very rich. And we're going to be making chocolate. And... And so let me tell you what's going on with the chocolate here. Uh, all I have is milk chocolate, and that's certainly good enough. And uh, so we're going to chop that. And uh, actually there's a technique to chopping chocolate, and it's not really chocolate. And you should not get this wet by any stretch, okay? And... I'm gonna get a dry towel here. The knife was a little wet because I just washed it. And do not get chocolate wet. Here it doesn't matter because it's going into something wet. But uh, drops of uh, water can seize up chocolate if you're melting it straight. This happens to be milk chocolate because that's all I have. And notice how I'm kind of cutting it. And milk chocolate's a little softer. So uh, bittersweet, you can use semi-sweet, uh, but bittersweet's the only other chocolate I really use. All right, so that's how you chop it. You treat it like an ice pick, all right? And uh, this is chopping easier because it's milk. How much milk? There's probably about 20% milk in here. And, um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to the creme anglaise at the end. And that's going to be chocolate ice cream. And it goes well because it's, uh, it's a milk chocolate and there's plenty of dairy product in there already and really I'm going to be adding this ganache this is uh, has cream in it too but this is a, a very strong bittersweet chocolate so it looks a little darker and I'm going to add that I'll add some chocolate just to show you and be careful this will boil up and over this is our uh, heating this up till it steeps so we have our chocolate ready we have our uh, milk steeping, and what we're going to do, so that's about a quart, all right? It's not an exact science, although we do have to thicken it, so, uh, and the egg yolks are thickening it. And uh, this is uh, eight ounces of egg yolks, and just wanna show you a little trick. Don't let your egg yolks stay by himself for too long and you want to prevent the skin they'll dry up so you can put a little bit of water okay a little bit of water right on the top you can even use the milk since that's what it's going in right and that'll prevent the skin and also take your um, bowl make sure everything's clean and sanitized and take your yolks and okay this is what's going to thicken it. There's no starch in here. And you have to cook. It's a very easy thing to make. But the, the, the thing is, what makes it difficult is you have to know a lot of technique. 
you know? Jacques Pepin, La Technique, the greatest, greatest chef there is, you know? His, one of his first books, besides the La Repertoire de la Cuisine, is uh, La Technique, you know? You could probably pay about 400 bucks for it on eBay, because it's out of print. And it's all technique. If you ever watch Jacques Pepin, he's just a technique guy. And that's, that's really what it's about. I'm not a big formula guy. I will do um, uh, formulas, you know, but I'll do ratio cooking. They don't teach ratio cooking anymore. or Not that I really know about, but that's kind of how I learned. So I always remember this recipe. So you got a quart of dairy, milk, cream. You have eight ounces of uh, yolk. And you have eight ounces of sugar. And... Um, and so that is a ratio of yolks is one fourth the or twenty five percent of the dairy, the milk, and the sugar is eight ounces, so that's twenty five percent. And we generally refer to things by weight. Okay, eight ounces of yolks weighs eight ounces. Because it's liquid, you can call it a cup. But if it wasn't a liquid and eight ounces of sugar, see this is more than a cup of sugar, all right? This is probably uh, uh, pushing uh, almost two cups or one and three quarter cups. All right, so let that steep. And another trick is too, don't just let this sit like that. They, call, or they burn the yolks is what we call it. The yolks get brown, it sucks up the, the moisture out of the yolks and forms these little dry curds, these, the curds, these lumps in the yolks and uh, you can't whip them out because they're kind of dehydrated yolks. The sugar does that. You know, sugar is a curing agent. And uh, so don't let them sit. Whisk it up like this. And uh, you don't have to whip it too much, all right? Uh, because what happens, this sugar will dissolve in the cream. And so our cream is done, all right? Uh, it's boiling. And I want to show you, uh, I've showed you this before, but I'll show it again. And uh, see how that cream is coming up? It's gonna boil over. Not under my watch. Boom, it's off. And I wanna take, you know, roll your uh, towel, just like you would if you were gonna whip e each other at the poolside, you know, with your towels as you used to do when you were a kid. And uh, so this keeps the ball stable, right? All right, we should have a bigger whisk. All right, we have to temper. So we have to slowly raise the temperature of this egg so when we cook it, all right, we're not going to uh, uh, shock the eggs and make a curd, right? That's all. Just bring it up slowly. You don't have to add it all. People get so carried away with this tempering, you know? And um, so put that back on the heat. Uh, add this, all right? Now this is, watch carefully, because this is, this is it, man. This is how you make creme anglaise. This step right here. Don't have so much heat, okay? Now take this, and oh, you know what I failed to do? And we could take this out later. Um, so that's uh, my vanilla bean, plumped. And uh, let's, let's make it, well, it's chocolate flavor, so. And we'll add the chocolate in last because we don't want to interfere with the thickening because I want to see what's going on here. All right, this is very important. Okay, I am painting the bottom of this pot, okay, with the, the, the edge of the spatula, okay? Because you got to keep it up off the bottom. That's where the heat source is. And most people would do this over a double boiler. And it's really not necessary. It just takes too long and you just develop a good eye for it. But don't overcook it. Because I have to keep that egg off the bottom of this pot, keep it in motion, keep it moving, all right? And, and that's it. And you'll know, see how it's thin? It's very thin still. So the egg yolks haven't taken effect yet. Um, because when it reaches 180, no more, really between 160 and 180, you'll see it start to thicken. We used to call it rosette. I could blow on the back of this spoon and it would ripple like a little rose, if you're looking down on a rose. Uh, but we also call it nappe, and, um, and I'll show you that it's thick. See, notice how thin it is, all right? And you can still see the back of the red spoon. Uh, not that you're, you're, you're gonna hide this all together, but just wanna keep this in motion, all right? You can turn it up a little bit because uh, I don't wanna be here forever, and I don't wanna 
bore you. Um, but we're getting there. It's getting thick. Okay, it's getting a little thicker. But important here, keep it off the bottom of the pot. Keep it in motion. Okay, those vanilla beans, um, they're starting to put out now. I should have put them in in the beginning, right? Okay, so here we go. All right. Now this continues to cook in the pot. I'm gonna give it a little bit more. Don't overcook it though. I'm flirting with danger. That's all right. I've done this before. But I could tell that it's thick. All right. And you can put this in an ice water bath, but you see how it holds its shape? See that? See, it holds its consistency to the back of the spoon. So let's get, uh, let's start to cool this down. I'm gonna get some chocolate in here. The chocolate will cool it down, stop the cooking, so we don't have to put it in an ice water bath. Let's get a whisk in here. And let's get this uh, ganache in here, okay? Uh, because I gotta use up the ganache, you know, because ice cream's gonna be frozen. I'm gonna put it in an antiquated, uh, uh, ice cream machine that's about 25 years old. I think it has alcohol. Uh, I think you put a little rubbing alcohol inside to, to, to maintain the temperature. Not inside here. Not inside the creme anglaise. Okay, so this ganache will melt from the residual heat. It will cool this down. The agitation will make sure the, the uh, seeds come out of the vanilla pods and everything's gonna be beautiful here. And how much chocolate do you add? I knew you were gonna ask that. And cook by color, you know? When you were a kid and you, 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 you painted by colors, uh, or numbers, I should say. Uh, but anyway, I don't know what that means. It doesn't really have too much to do with that. But you study your food. So you go by color, all right? When this is dark enough, you've all had chocolate ice cream in the store. And that's about right, okay? So when you add vanilla to uh, a white uh, cream or something, if it's too tan from the vanilla extract color, you've added too much vanilla, okay? Or if you use fresh beans and you see a whole lot of pods, um, you know, maybe too much vanilla. But you know what? I don't mind the pods, the fresh vanilla bean. I mean, I could smell the vanilla, you know, with the heat. It's, you know, vanilla is a really cool item. And uh, so that's about darker. You know, hey, one more little milk chocolate nugget just for kicks and giggles. And uh, that, my friends on Facebook and my class is, uh, so we, we added the chocolate to the right color. We've melted it completely. And, oh, we should taste it. We should taste it. Here we go. Beautiful consistency. Oh, <laughs> unbelievable. I even impressed myself. Okay, hey, thanks for watching. That's how you make chocolate ice cream.